Clause 61. The barons shall elect 25 of their number to keep and cause to be observed with all their might the peace and liberties granted and confirmed by this charter. Not trusting John to keep his word, the barons settled upon Clause 61 as the means to hold the king to account. Known as the Security Clause, Clause 61 set out the conditions under which the barons and the wider community could rebel against the king. If we transgress any of the articles of the peace, the 25 barons may distrain upon and assail us in every way possible, with the support of the whole community of the land, by seizing our castles, lands, possessions, or anything else, saving only our own person and those of the queen and our children, until they have secured such redress as they determined upon. As a peace treaty, Magna Carta failed. Angered by the manner in which the charter had been exacted and was to be enforced, John appealed to his overlord, the Pope, for assistance. On the 24th of August, 1215, just two months after the charter was sealed at Runnymede, Pope Innocent III declared Magna Carta to be illegal, unjust, and shameful. Civil war broke out in September, while the charter was reissued in 1216, 1270, and 1225. By now, nearly a third of the text had been removed or rewritten, including the revolutionary security clause. Despite this, Magna Carta has endured for over eight centuries, inspiring in that time the United States Bill of Rights and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights.